Once a novelty, electric cars are now becoming a normality. Tesla has been setting the benchmark ever since its Model S, its first mass-produced electric car. Almost a decade on, the second generation has arrived, and it's outrageously Tesla. The company, headed by CEO Elon Musk, is known for making crazy claims. Many of the company's inventions have thrown the rulebook out of the window, making the unthinkable possible. Today, the company moves one step closer towards self-driving reality with the 2021 Model S. Nine years is a long time for a car to go almost unchanged, but Tesla is a little bit different. The company blends the boundaries between the automotive industry and high technology. Let's delve into the changes that have been made this time around. Outside upgrades are minimal. So minimal, in fact, that the average passerby would probably not notice. Real Tesla fans will notice the updated black accents around the car, things like window frames and door handles, something that we've already seen replacing the traditional chrome details on the latest Model 3 and Model Y. Elsewhere, a new bumper design freshens up the front with a modified air intake. Advanced tyres will be fitted to the Model S, which means a smoother ride to help solidify the car's luxurious and elegant status. They're likely to be all-purpose tyres. Tesla recommends using specific winter tyres in snowy conditions. Be it for safety reasons or future-proofing for features that are to be added at a later stage, the Model S has a 360-degree high-definition camera system, 12 ultrasonic sensors and a front-facing radar with a range of 160 metres. A further driver-facing camera and radar sensor also adds to the list of standard equipment, something which could be used for security purposes in the event of a break-in. This could also prove to be useful in the up-and-coming robo-taxi network, a range of totally driverless taxis provided by Tesla. Inside, all models now come with tri-zone climate control as standard, as well as a top-grade HEPA air filter and ventilated front seats. The usual all-round heated seats, of course, still apply on this latest model. Whatever the Model 3 can do, the Model S can do it better, and in an effort not to be beaten, the company claims that each seat has access to both wireless and USB-C charging, which is said to be powerful enough to charge tablets and even laptops, at the detriment, of course, to the car's battery. The car also supports multi-device Bluetooth connectivity to make switching between calls and music easier. Elsewhere, retractable cup holders help to keep the interior as minimalistic as possible, and larger door pockets add more function to a space that would otherwise be wasted. Just like the Model 3, forced touch door handles rewrite what we know about door handles. Up front, the automaker's latest design language translates to a 17-inch touchscreen, this time in landscape orientation. As ever, the crystal clear resolution, topping Full HD resolution, makes this the best infotainment display in any car. But it doesn't stop there. A further 12.3-inch display sits behind the wheel, serving as a digital instrument cluster. For passengers in the rear seats, a smaller 8-inch display is mounted on the back end of the front armrest, angled upwards to make for the perfect viewing angle. With 10 teraflops of processing power, Tesla sees gaming as the future of in-car entertainment. Passengers can even connect compatible wireless gaming controllers for the most involving experience. Whether passengers are gaming or just streaming music, what they're about to hear is some of the best audio ever fitted to a car. A 960-watt speaker system comprising 22 speakers is nothing extraordinary nowadays. Being heavily involved in the tech industry, Tesla has taken this one step further with active sound cancellation to block out exterior road noises and improve the quality of the audio inside. When it comes to locking and unlocking their car, many drivers like the convenience of tapping a card on the B pillar to unlock the Model 3. Others prefer the ultimate keyless experience, which allows a smartphone to act as a proximity device, totally eradicating any need for a key. Others prefer the reassurance that they're carrying a physical key, or in Tesla's case, a car-shaped fob. It's expected that the flagship saloon will come as standard with all of these. The latest self-driving abilities have also been channeled into the Model S, from its self-driving autopilot and automatic lane changing to fully automatic self-parking with no input from the driver at all. Drivers can also summon their Model S, perfect for bringing the car to the door when the weather's bad. Normally, that would round up the changes on a second generation of a car refresh. To remind ourselves, we've seen some design tweaks, upgraded infotainment with additional displays, heightened gaming abilities, the latest technology, and even more self-driving updates. Come on, though. This is Tesla, a company with Elon Musk at the wheel. And it's the wheel we need to discuss next. If it isn't broken, don't fix it a time-old phrase that has meant the steering wheel has remained unchanged since its invention. Well, Musk has just reinvented the wheel. Literally. No longer is it circular. It now takes a more rectangular form factor with just three sides. The lack of a top section even reminds some people of aviation controls. But let's just revisit that. The steering wheel is rectangular. Take a moment to digest that information. The steering wheel is not circular. 
In the meantime, we've been wondering why this could be, and we think we've cracked it. Tesla currently offers varying levels of self-driving, and support is being added for more and more areas, including towns and cities. With this in mind, drivers are likely going to rely on this as we step away from being so involved in the driving process, which means the steering wheel will be eliminated altogether. However, we're still a long way off that, and in the meantime, Tesla may be reducing our reliance on the wheel while tweaking its functionalities. It goes one step further than this, though. In the ultimate move to make the process of driving as minimalistic as its approach to design, Tesla has removed all stalks from the steering column. To engage drive and reverse, drivers can choose to override the system through the giant touchscreen. This, or they could choose to trust the automated system, whereby the car guesses the correct drive direction based on the obstacles it sees, the context of its surroundings, and the satellite navigation. This new type of no stalks, no shifting experience is yet another step in the direction of fully self-driving cars, and it's just a matter of time before other auto manufacturers adopt similar concepts. All versions of the 2021 Tesla Model S use an all-wheel drive powertrain, with only the entry-level long range being a dual motor model. A 412-mile range and a top speed of 155 miles per hour proves that electric saloons needn't be boring. While the 3.1 second 0 to 60 sprint time sounds almost ludicrous, the Plaid model can do this in under two seconds. However, this comes at the cost of some range. It claims 390 miles. For the best of both worlds, the range-topping Plaid Plus promises more than 520 miles on a single charge and sub-two second sprint times. Regardless of model, the new Model S can supercharge 200 miles in just 15 minutes. Buyers of the long-range model can expect to pay $79,990, while the top-of-the-range Plaid Plus will set you back $139,990. That's $20,000 more than Plaid. In summary, Tesla has not only unveiled the second generation of its flagship Model S, but equally, it has initiated the next generation of all cars. Musk's company has reinvented the wheel in many senses of the phrase, and we can expect to see the company pushing self-driving towards the top of the automotive industry's agenda over the coming years. There's still one question that stands, though. Would you drive a car with a modified steering wheel and a software-based smart gearbox?